guys, it's Bree the Coupon Queen. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, everyone has been asking me they wanna see my stockpile tour and how I organize my stockpile because I do not have a garage. So if you're interested in my organization tips and seeing my stockpile, then definitely stay tuned. And if you're new to my channel, if you're interested in learning how to coupon and how you can save thousands of dollars each year by using some simple coupon deals and some rebate apps, you can definitely start today. Just hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell. So when I post new tips or ways that you can get free products, sometimes even money makers, you'll be notified and you can take advantage of them as well. So I'm gonna take you through my house and show you all of the different types of organization tips that I have, where I keep all of the makeup that we get for super cheap or free, and where I keep all of my laundry products, all of that, and how I organize it in my townhome. Before we hop in, I wanna preface this by letting you guys know I don't have the biggest stockpile. I know that probably sounds hard to believe because I do coupon every single day and I bring out new videos for you guys, a bunch of different stores, clearance, you name it. But I do resell almost my entire stockpile every two weeks. So if you're interested in reselling your stockpile, I did do a video on it. Definitely check it out. It will be linked below in the description box. I do have a huge order going out later today, so I wanted to do this video before it's all gone so I can show you exactly how I organize it and what containers and storage products that I use. So first thing I wanna do is show you my laundry products. So let's take a look. So the first product that I use, I recently got it and I absolutely love it. It has saved me so much space in organizing my paper products and my laundry products. It's this Suncast Shed that I got from Home Depot. If you want one, highly recommend it. It's waterproof. It took me maybe 15 minutes to put it together. I put it together myself, didn't even need a second person. Um, it will be linked below in the description box. It does not come with shelves, so you do have to buy that separately if you want it, but if you wanna put a lock on it, you can. Open it this way. So this is where I organize all of my laundry products that I have. It fits quite a bit. I only purchased three shelves because down here I'm going to be stacking a lot more paper products. And some paper products are obviously a lot larger than others, like the Scott um, toilet paper. So that's why I only chose to do three shelves. You can purchase those separately from Amazon. So I do have that in the link in the description box for you as well if you wanna grab those. Again, super easy to install. You just screw them in the sides and it has little like divots where you would screw it in. And it's super sturdy. It says up to 30 pounds, but I have huge all detergents in the back. And then I have obviously my Arm & Hammer in Purex. So I would say that's more than 30 pounds. I mean, obviously laundry products are really heavy and it's waterproof. We've been having quite a bit of rain lately and nothing has gotten wet. I have boxes, cardboard boxes. If it would have gotten wet, these would have been a mess. Um, I keep my, let's see. I keep my dish washing tabs and everything like that in here as well. I had kept these in the plastic just in case it wasn't waterproof, but it is. I've tested it a bunch of times, so that works perfect. Um, more laundry products here, a huge Fabuloso I had gotten from Dollar General on clearance. These two shelves literally fit perfectly for paper products, which I think is amazing. So this was about $160 for the shed. If you just need a shed, I highly recommend it. It's about six feet tall. I think two and a half feet wide, two feet deep, something like that. So that'll be linked below. If you don't wanna buy the um, different shelves, you don't have to, of course, cause that does come separately. You can use it for like storing rakes and things like that. But of course, for the purpose of this channel and couponing, I use it for my stockpile. So now let's go take a look at the laundry pods, Tide Pods, razors, all of that inside. Now we are gonna go upstairs to the bedroom where I keep the rest of the stockpile. So this is where I store all of my makeup. Macy's interested in our stockpile tour as well. Right now I am in our daughter's room, Riley. So I keep my makeup in these small drawers here. It works perfectly. They are Sterilite containers. I would recommend getting two sets. It comes in three and three. 
because I try to organize it as best as possible. And of course, with how much makeup we get, they fill up quickly. So I have all of my eyebrow pens and eyeliners, things like that are gonna be in the top drawer. Then I do any lip product, lip liners, anything like that, lip gloss, lipstick, all of that is gonna be there. Then I break up mascara in its own separate container because the packaging is a little bit bigger. So all of my mascaras are gonna be in here. Then I do just eyeshadows because we get a ton of free Maybelline eyeshadow. I've gotten some Revlon previously from, um, I know that was from Walgreens, some L'Oreal as well. So I do um, eyeshadow separately. Then we have all of our face products, concealers, uh, powders, bronzers, things like that. And more face products down here because obviously, again, they're larger, especially when you have foundations, blushes, things like that. And then I have an additional eyelash and some miscellaneous brushes, things like that in here as well. So that is how I organize all of my makeup. These makeup drawers as well cost about 20 bucks. And then these down here that I keep all of my facial care and everything in. This is a three uh, drawer set. It comes like that with three of them. They have a couple different colors as well. And this ran me about $27 and it comes with two of them. The other one I use for like um, towels and products in our other bathroom. So I would definitely recommend doing the set of two. If you buy them individually, it's gonna be more expensive. So I put all of my face care wipes in here, my different masks and stuff that we get, any kind of um, cleansers, creams, facial scrubs, things like that are gonna go in here. And down here, I have all of my Hallmark freebies that we have been getting from CVS, any kind of Hallmark cards that we usually get for free, some money makers on Ibotta for that. All of these bags and gift wrapping supplies are from um, CVS as well. So all of that goes in here along with my um, air fresheners, car clips, um, any kind of air freshener. I have a ton more, but that is in my vanity right there. So I'll show you that in just a second. And down here, I keep all of the medicine. A lot of you ask me how I resell my medicine. I personally don't. I don't know the legalities of it. I don't want to risk it. So I just give medicine away to like my family, if my friends need it, anything like that. And of course, if we're ever sick or we need anything, we got it right here. And all of this was probably free or super, super cheap. So I have so much eye drops, it's like insane. But yeah, I don't resell medicine, but that's just me personally. If you guys wanna embark on that, you totally can. So now let's check out our toothpaste. Now in the closet, we have the larger Sterilite bins and containers. You guys have to excuse the mess. What I'm gonna be doing is taking out this cube, putting it out here, getting another one of these bins to put any other, um, like the baby wipes and things like that in there just to kind of organize it even more. But I keep all of my Tide Pods, Gain Flings, Persil Discs, all, any kind of pods for laundry are gonna be in the top drawer. Then I keep all of my razors down here. A lot of people do the pegboards and they make it look super nice and organized. But for me, like I said, I resell almost my entire stockpile, like this drawer, this drawer, all of it will be empty um, every two weeks. So I just sell them at like a base price. All of that information is in that reselling my stockpile video. So that's why I don't have to like keep this super organized. I just put it in a bin like this, but sometimes I will organize it and put like all of the Bic right here, things like that. But all of this is going out in an order today, later today. So that's why it's not super organized. Then down here we have all of our toothpaste. I'll put some of the smaller mouthwashes in here and then any any oral care at all. So toothbrushes will be down here. Those weird little Listerine tabs are gonna be down here as well. This bag is part of the reselling that is going out later today, so I haven't put it away. Okay, so excuse my mess because I'm a little overflowed. Okay, <laughs> now let me preface this again by saying Typically, this is a lot more organized, but I put all of these in here because I resell these and I got a lot more products in the last two weeks than sometimes I do. Just depending on the deals, sometimes I grab a ton of shampoo, conditioner, lotions, and sometimes the deals aren't that great. So 
The deals the last two weeks have been amazing, so that's why this is kind of overflowing. I have it over here as well. All my hauls are right here. All of my L'Oreal facial care, I have my Renew and I'll put shaving gel and things like that in the back. Then I'll put my feminine care in the back, any of the larger oral care and mouthwashes. We've been getting a ton from CVS. So that takes up a lot of space, which is why this is kind of overflowing. But I'm about to be um, bagging it up so I can put together the order. She should be picking that up later today. So I'll be counting all the products, figuring out the totals, and letting her know so that way we can get rid of all of this. The last stop on our stockpile organization tour today is in our laundry room. So I keep all of my Walmart bags and stuff in there. Those are literally the best. And at the top, I keep all of my um, laundry pods, dish soap, downy wrinkle release, things like that are all up there. And then this is all just like personal stuff. Um, obviously I do coupon for all these like this, um, Jiffy to go has been free from Dollar General for quite a while. So it's still, I guess, part of my stockpile, obviously, because we do get a ton of food for super cheap. Hellman's is, was BOGO at Publix recently. Um, so was ketchup, <laughs> but that is where I do for all of my stockpile. This is our pantry as well, because we do live in a very small town home. So have to try to be as organized as possible. So I grabbed one of these little bins too, just to keep more like bags of coffee, things like that. So let me know in the comments below how you guys organize your stockpile and if you guys have thought about reselling your stockpile or if you currently do, I'd love to know in the comments below. So all of these products, I didn't just go out and buy right when I started couponing. I have been couponing about a year and a half now. So I've been adding to my organization and adding the bins little by little as my stockpile grows and the more and more deals that we are able to find and purchase. If a product is free, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and do the deal. And especially if the product is a money maker. A lot of you ask me, do you guys wind up getting the deals that are free and money makers if it's a product you don't use? And the answer is yes. So some of the medicines, some of those products I'm not gonna use, but if it winds up being a freebie and a money maker, you may as well get the product. You can always donate it, give it to friends and family, do whatever you would like. But if you're gonna make a little bit of money doing it, then in my opinion, you may as well. So I have been accumulating these different organizational storage bins and hacks for the last year and a half. The most recent one that I'm the most excited about is definitely that shed outside. Before that, I had it just on the desk in Riley's room and it made her room such a mess. So really excited that I was able to grab that and I used some Fetch Rewards gift cards actually to lower the cost of that. So if you're purchasing at any of the stores that you can use gift cards, definitely do so. Fetch Rewards, I use a lot of gift cards as well. You can buy the gift card through Flues, get some cash back and help lower the overall cost of the products you're gonna be buying. So if you wanna do that, highly recommend it. I have um, videos in my channel on flus, how to use it, how to get more vouchers. I have one on Fetch Rewards as well, which I absolutely love using. So all of these rebate apps and tactics I use every single day for paying for my products that I'm grabbing, my hauls, and to buy products that I need to help organize my stockpile and just organize the house in general. So that is my stockpile tour. If you guys have any questions or anything, of course, just drop a comment below. If you enjoy this video and seeing my small stockpile, then definitely smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.